That's so cold. Ugh. I'm still drinking it though. This is what dreams are made of. This is what dreams are made of. <coughs> Hey guys, it's me Sylvia, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to be partnering up with Roxbox for today's video. So there's gonna be an accessory portion where I show you guys some new goodies from Roxbox. You guys are always asking me where I get my jewelry from. So we're gonna talk about it. And then also we're gonna do my hair cause I've been doing it differently. And then in the makeup portion of this video, we're gonna be using all brand new makeup products, drugstore and high end. We're gonna see if they're worth our money and you'll get my first impressions on those. But before we get started, with the video make sure you are subscribed to my channel before you forget if you're not yet subscribed I drop two videos a week become part of my s club by hitting that subscribe button and without further ado let's get into the video so I always usually try to accessorize and do my hair before doing my makeup because I get way too lazy after to do all that so I'm gonna accessorize using my rocks box jewelry today so for $21 a month you receive three pieces of jewelry that are hand selected for you it's all based on this quiz that you do when you first sign up you tell them your preferences you make your wish list and then they actually pick from your wish list a couple items and then the stylist picks some for you as well to put in the set that they send out to you monthly so it comes in this really cute box with this bow on it and then inside you get these really cute velvet little sacks with your jewelry pieces inside of them it's like a little gift each month it's really really cute so the idea behind rocks box is that you get to try on the pieces in the comfort of your own home and wear them on loan for as long as you want and then you get to purchase the pieces that you love or return the ones that you don't when you're ready for the next set shipping both ways is free so you ain't got nothing to lose. So these are the three pieces that I got this month. These ones are a pair of really beautiful half moon earrings. And these are the ones that I did put on my wish list. So I'm very happy I got these ones. So it's awesome. You get to try them on. See if you like it with the specific outfit you had in mind with your wardrobe. And then if you love a piece like I love these ones, you can buy it with your monthly store credit. If not, ship that baby back free of charge. So this is what's in the second one. <gasps> yes, I love this. So I love this one as well well it is the hand of Fatima so now this is what I've gotten the last one Ooh. it's another pair of beautiful dangly earrings so I'm obsessed with all of these pieces Roxbox has a ton of on trend jewelry and you can see these ones are definitely my style because they picked from my specific wish list and everything so I'm really happy with them if you guys do want to sign up make sure you use my promo code Sylvia Gani XOXO because then you're gonna get your first month free and you can try it out too because it's a really cool and unique way to start buying your jewelry if you are the type like like me that likes to try them on before committing to a purchase or if you're really indecisive and you just want to see what it looks like with different outfits and stuff then this is the way to do it moving on now let's do my hair so recently I've been putting extensions in my hair so I'm gonna show you guys how I apply those I was using the Bellamy hair extensions but I accidentally forgot them in a bathroom in an Airbnb in LA so I'm gonna be using these ones that I got from I don't even know it was some like low-key store in my city it says passion source collection on there but it's supposed to be 100% human hair that means that they can withstand heat and style them and things like that. They are not synthetic. So usually I'll always put dry shampoo in my roots. Unless it's like the day that I wash my hair, then I won't. But this just adds texture, takes away any grease, and just freshens up your hair. So once that's through my hair, I'll start to separate it. So then I can put the extensions in. And you always want to start at the nape of your neck when putting in extensions. So leaving a small section at the back there, I'll clip the rest of my hair. I'll take the first strand, which only has two clips on it, brush that out. And usually I'll back comb a little bit at the root of each section before clipping it in. But because this is just for the video and I don't want to back comb my hair when I don't have to I'm not gonna do that so for the first strand at the nape of the neck what I'm gonna do is clip this in upside down I saw this tip from one of Desi Perkins videos and it was life-changing this is gonna help to blend in your natural hair into the extension so now when I pull it forward you can see that this is my natural hair and it's like on the outer part and it's the extension that falls right here so the natural hair is gonna be blended in and covered up by the rest of the hair when we put it down shout out Desi Perkins for that so now I'm just gonna section off the rest of my hair and start clipping in the rest of the extensions I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because I'm just doing the rest of the clips normal. So if you do wanna know more in depth on how to install extensions, you should probably just search it on YouTube. I'm pretty sure that's how I learned. So I just don't want this video to be 10 years long. So all extensions are in. I'll just give it a quick brush. 
So now I'm just applying some hot rollers. I've decided to switch to hot rollers for my hair actually just recently. This is the first time I'm using these hot rollers because when I do want my hair wavy, it's usually when I have my extensions in. And hot rollers are a lot less damaging to your hair. So I'm trying them out. These are the T3 hot rollers. I got them from Sephora and it comes in this really cute kind of storage bag and this chic little plate here. This hot roller set comes with two different sizes, one big hot roller size and one that's a little bit smaller for the shorter pieces. So the hot rollers are all in. It says to wait for 10 to 20 minutes, but I don't want to do that because I don't need them that curled. And I also didn't want to curl them all the way right up to my root because I wanted a nice natural kind of big wave. I like these hot rollers. They didn't take that long to get hot and I have more than enough to put in all my hair. So these are the big waves and how I've been wearing my hair lately. Let's move on to the makeup. So let's start with primer. This one's actually not new, but it's new to me because I've never tried it before. So I thought I would try it out for this video. It is the Jouer anti blend matte primer. So it really intrigued me because it says anti-blemish. So I'm like, is this going to cure my acne? Because I need that. So it's a salicylic acid acne treatment. I don't know how to say that. It's supposed to be a non-drying, non-irritating pore refiner. It smells interesting. Not good interesting, but also not terrible. Oh my God, if we could have a primer that cures your acne, it's the greatest thing ever. It's supposed to penetrate into the skin to help treat existing blemishes and prevent development of new acne and minimize the appearance of pores. It has aloe, vitamin C, ginseng, that's supposed to help promote a shine free even complexion. I like the sound of all of that. So it's completely applied. I feel like I won't really be able to judge the whole acne treatment thing unless I wear it for a little while. But for right now, decent. Let's see how the foundation applies over top of it. So for foundation, I'm gonna try out Maybelline's Super Stay Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. So this was reformulated. I know that they had it before, but it's supposed to be a lot better now. It comes with a little pump. So I'm gonna try the shade Natural Ivory. I like the pump. It makes it really easy to get the foundation out. It definitely is full coverage, getting rid of all the discoloration and acne. Looks a little bit light on the camera. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's reflecting the light because in person it looks like my exact match to my neck. Have you guys tried this foundation? What do you think of it? Or what's your favorite drugstore foundation? Comment that down below because everyone loves an affordable, good drugstore foundation. So it's applying really, really nicely. I have a really intense dry spot on my chin from a blemish, so ignore that. But I feel like other than that, it's looking really good on any of my other problem areas. It's not looking cakey around my nose and it still has that natural skin finish. So, so far I'm really liking it. Okay, so it's completely applied and I really like the way it's looking on my skin. We are going to circle back to it at the end of the video and see how it wore throughout. But for now, let's carry on. So for brows, I have the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer. This is brand new. This is the shade Deep Brown. Usually I do like to go a lot lighter. Ooh, that could be really dark. The spoolie on this is so weird. So now let's attempt to use it. So it is quite a thick brow crayon type of thing. Usually I prefer the really, really small, precise, pointed brow pencils just to really help to imitate hairs. But I think because this one's fresh, I'm still able to do that. So this brow is completely done. And I'm gonna say I actually really like this brow pencil, especially for an affordable drugstore brow product. It really is good. The only thing is I really don't like the deep brown shade on me because I prefer a lighter brow. So I'm gonna actually swap this out and use a brow product that is a better shade for my brows. So starting again, I'm gonna use Benefits Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number two, just cause my brows are so thick and coarse as it is. And with my deep set eyes, if I do a really dark, harsh brow, it just looks very, very intense, especially when I'm doing a colorful or a smoky eye. So using a lighter shade helps to keep them more natural looking. So moving on to eyes, I've already primed my lids and added some tape here. We're gonna use the Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics. Now, when I received this, I was in awe from the moment I swatched it. I have yet to try it on my eyes. Like, would you look at this palette? It is so beautiful. I'm kind of not a fan of the way it's arranged, but I get the whole idea with like the Zodiac stuff, so I understand it. I'm just like, that kind of threw me off. But when I actually swatched it, like that's from the middle shade right there. It swatches beautifully. All of these outer shades are so pigmented and so glittery. I can't wait to use it. So I'm gonna go in with this soft brown shade right here, and I'm gonna take that right right above my crease and underneath my brow bone just to warm it up a bit. This is applying beautifully. It's blending out like a dream and it's so, so pigmented. I only had to dip my brush into the shadow one time. So now I'm gonna use this shade right here. 
there. And I'm gonna put that right in the crease, blending back and forth into that other shade. So far, these shadows are bomb. The mattes are still creamy. They're blending into each other perfectly. They're not changing color when blending into each other. I can't believe this is an affordable palette so far. BH really did that with this one. Now I'm gonna use the black shade in the palette and I'm gonna dab that on the most outer corner and I'm gonna kind of wing it out. I've been really into just shadow liner instead of actually doing liquid liner these days. That's also a good alternative if you maybe struggle with actual liquid liner. Now I'm gonna take a lip brush, use some Shape Tape concealer and carve out my crease. Now I'm gonna go in with Aries when I should be using Libra. I mean, I am a Libra, hey. Comment your sign down below, I wanna know. Let's see what this goes on like without wetting my brush first. Oh my God. <gasps> It is so pigmented. Now let's wet my brush. That is beautiful. Like, look at that. This palette is honestly so much better than so many high-end palettes that I've tried. And you could create so many looks with all those shades. So this isn't a new product, but I just wanna make this blue that much more glittery and intense. So I'm gonna use the Heavy Metals Glitter Liner from Urban Decay in Gamma Ray. I'm gonna apply that all over that blue. Now I'm gonna go in with a bit of this shade and I'm gonna actually intensify that crease a little bit with a detailing brush, just right on the outer part. Connect it from that smoky wing and blend whatever's left over on the brush so it is a nice gradient into those other crease shadows. Now let's use the center highlight shade, just cause we have to. It is so beautiful and the ascent of retention of this palette. So we are going to use that on the inner corner of my eye. Let's spray my brush to really get it intense. Might even be too crazy. I don't think I've ever said that before. <gasps> It's everything I could have ever wanted. Is that not the most blinding inner corner you've ever seen? All right, so now we're ready to take off the tape. Oh yeah, honey, that is sharp. Let's clean up the under eye. I don't have a new concealer to try out today. We're gonna go in with Shape Tape. This foundation is still looking flawless, by the way. I haven't even set it yet, and there's no creasing on my smile lines, no creasing here where I usually get that, so we'll see. So I forgot to hit record, but I'm baking my under eye using Patrick Star's setting powder. This is the newest loose powder that I have. I have used it before. Now I'm just gonna dust that off. So now I'm gonna smoke out the under eye using the same shadows in the crease. First going in with this shade again and just keeping it on the most outer corner of my lower lashes, connecting it to the wing. And then going back in with the black, I'm gonna connect that wing right to my lower lash line with a small detailing brush so that there's no gap between the wing and the lower lash line. So that's it for the eyeshadows. I am obsessed with this palette. I'm obsessed. It did such a good job. Those shadows were blended out like a dream I could create literally any eye look with all of these shades and the best part is it's like 20 bucks it's so affordable and the quality is insane so I'm really happy with this that's going right in my desk to use for later now for mascara I have the Maybelline Total Temptation mascara it is brand new it looks like a pretty thick wand which I like it's very fluffy that's usually the type of mascaras I am really down for it actually really looks like Monsieur Big Lancome mascara wand do you see how jet black that black shadow is by the way it literally looks like I used a liquid liner and it's just shadow because that's how pigmented and good that BH shadow is. Oh my god, I really like this mascara. Wow, that coated them so well. It definitely does remind me of Lancome's Monsieur Big Mascara. The wands look so similar. Do you see what this did to my lashes? They look so bomb. But this is exactly how I like my lashes. I want them extremely thick and coated with a lot of product and longer and more volumized. This is honestly a really great dupe to the Lancome Monsieur Big, which is my current favorite. It, but I can't tell the difference between the two right now because it applied exactly the same. The only difference would be obviously in how it wears, which I can't really tell you right now because it's a first impression video, but if it doesn't flake, if it doesn't smudge, then I'm obsessed with this. Drugstore products for the win today. They're doing so well. Now for false lashes, I have Morphe lashes. They finally came out with some falsies. They have so many different styles. They look very fluffy and very thick. They look like the real mink lashes that are like $30. So hopefully the quality is just as good. So I'm gonna apply these off camera to save time. I'm gonna be right back. So lashes are on and they are so long. Do you see how long and fluffy that is? They really do look like the $30 like Huda Beauty real mink lashes and they're not. So that's amazing. I love this style too, how it's very dense and kind of flares out at the end. That's for sure the style that I normally reach for. So I'm really liking them and I'm so glad that Morphe came out with lashes because I love these. So moving on to the rest of the face to try and make me look a little bit more alive. We're gonna use the new Park Ave Princess palette from Tarte. It is 
a contouring and highlight palette. Look how beautiful it is. I have tried this already. I couldn't help myself. I'm gonna use the shade Angle to bronze. I love like the original contour and highlight and blush Parka Princess palette. So I was really excited to try this one. So I had to mix it a little bit with Princess Cut and I feel like I like it a lot better. It's less orange. So when I only used Angle, you can see it's a little bit too orange. So mixing those two shades together gave me like the perfect contour slash like bronze soft glow over there. But the formula is really, really nice. Pigmented, but still easy to blend out. And I really like it. We're having a bunch of hits today. I love this. They also have two highlight shades in there. Both of these are very, very bright. And I feel like it's gonna make me look too ghostly if I use that. Maybe I'll use a little bit just on the tear part there where I really want some extra brightening. So I'll try the shade Enhance for that. Now for highlight, I'm gonna use the new Vanilla Quartz Highlighter from Becca Cosmetics. Becca makes some of the greatest highlighters on the market. They are so, so buttery and soft and they have so many different shades that you can choose from. So we're gonna give ourselves a glow, put it on the cheekbones, a little bit on the forehead here where the light would hit, and even a little bit on the chin because I'm looking really dry there right now. And instead of blush today, I'm gonna actually bring the bronzer a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. I've been kind of liking that look lately. It makes it look really sun-kissed and I think it's really pretty. Very very neutral too because we have a very colorful eye so I feel like it won't take away from that it'll just look like a nice suntan now I'm gonna melt all those powders together with fix plus for Mac I don't have a new setting spray for lips I'm gonna use the Park Ave princess lip paint from Tarte this is also from their Park Ave princess collection that they just came out with and the outro today has to be a voiceover over top of these awkward clips of me posing because my camera has stopped recording so fail but check out the description if you want to know more about how the products wore and this is the final look i really like how it turned out i hope you guys do too and before you go don't forget to check out rocks box the first link in my description to learn more about their jewelry subscription service and that is all for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to check out these videos of mine if you have not watched them yet and of course click here to subscribe the little subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed to my channel love you guys see you in my next video bye